Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hoping this is working, but can't say for sure. Trying something new here. the chat say hello
fire. Your fancy foam and exotic blend are no match for my cockpit red leather seat and my <laughs> These ads. I've got all... What's going on? How many freaking ants? <laughs> no, it's a painting for Owen. I'm giving it to him. I'm going to send it to him. <clears throat> he did a stream the other day where there's some guy, uh, what's his name, uh, did a really, really nice drawing of him. And I was like, and he's like, get up and paint to do something. I was like, okay. Got me all motivated, so I figured I'd give this one to him as a thank you. <laughs> it's uh, no biggie. Which, what are you watching on? D-Live? Okay.
hope he likes it when they give it to him. messed up on these trees. That's all right, though. No? Like Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes, only happy accidents, right? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Stimo cars. Thank you. We're getting there. We are getting there. You know what? I gotta wipe some of this off because I kind of blew it already, but that's all right. <clears throat> No mistakes, only happy accidents, right? That's what paper towels are for.
Now we're talking. Okay. That's good.
<laughs> What's up? Mr. Junior, how we doing, Coltrane? <laughs> how we doing, Coltrane? Dr. Jesse. You know, I called into a show yesterday. Yeah, I called into the the Big Jesse show. Oops. That was no good. Uh. That was no good. Actually, not so bad. Yeah, I hope so. I can't wait to send it to him. I'm hoping to finish it today, but I don't know. We'll see. I got other responsibilities later. It was cool. I just called him to say thank you. You know, I love what he's doing with the whole re, uh, rebuildingtheman.com. That's absolutely necessary. You know, we are talking about one very wise man with Jesse Lee Peterson. I told him the only reason I would ever step foot in California would be to attend his church. <clears throat> And he was like, amazing. <laughs> it's on the replay if you want to go see it.
All right. I think we're just about done with the sky. I'm starting to like it. Now just uh, I gotta just put the the yellow in. No IQ. Are you kidding me? His IQ has got to be at 130, 140. That, no doubt about it. And yeah, so what? He has a little speech Im uh, impediment. Big deal. You know? The man is a genius. And he absolutely identifies the problem and nails it. And, you know, he, he, he's the, he, he also is the is not just somebody who's whining about it he's doing something about it to fix it and uh shit man hats off to that man all day long all day long very wise individual he might not be super intelligent or whatever which is fine none of us are you know like vox day vox day, vox day is freaking brilliant so is owen owen's owen's owen is a genius and he has the gift that Trump has, that he's a genius that could talk to the masses and make them kind of understand, you know. But Owen's a genius. Vox is, is the, the arrogant prick style genius, but that's fine. I love Vox. He, his book, man, uh, the, what's it called? Um, Throw the Bones. I'm on like chapter 16. Dude, this guy puts George R. Martin to bed. Seriously, it's about eight million times better than Game of Thrones, and it has a whole Christian, you know, uh, vibe to it, which is great. It's freaking awesome. The book is amazing. How's it going, big boy in the morning? I've been great, my buddy. I've been great. We're back in business. I'm I'm streaming on five platforms now, and we're gonna try and stream at least three times a week. I got a couple commissions, I got a big painting that, I got a lot of paintings that I'm finishing, and uh, we're taking this shit to the next level, baby. To the next level! Amazing! Uh, yeah, a little bit. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support from my dude. You know, I got a studio now, so I can. Um, it's great. It's really great. You know, uh, I got my uh, my office is right next door. You know, so I could sneak in here. You know, when uh, just get the guys rolling. You know, so we actually just hired three more people. We're doing good. Things are good, man. Companies are rolling. Amazing. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. The great part about this studio is it's long. It's very narrow. It's only like five feet wide, but it's long. So I, when I, I put my palette like 10, 12 feet away from the painting. So every time I walk away, I look at the painting and I'm like, ah, we got to do this. We got to do that, you know, which is really awesome. Exactly. Yes. And, you know, I'm learning slowly how to do, like, figures and stuff. Wait, man, I got all kinds of plans for what I'm going to do. You know? I want to do book characters. What? Hold on a second, guys.
No. I'll be right back.
Oi. Oof. Right back. Uh. Life is short, people. Just know that. Live. Pray. Yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is, boys. You know, I appreciate that, though, brother. You know, I stopped paying YouTube. I was paying 10 bucks a month to avoid the ads, but just can't do it anymore because they're really, 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 really bad. You know? So, but the ads are, geez, so annoying. And I got it on my phone hooked up to the Bluetooth, so it's not like I could get an ad blocker or something. You know? Um, this, it, you know, it started out as I got a commission that I'm supposed to do for a sunset. So I was talking to my uh, coach who, uh, you know, kind of gave me a couple paintings to look at. This, the, the commission, the one, the one I'm doing the commission for, she's not going to like this. She wanted it like more purplish and whatever. I mean, she may like this, but it doesn't matter. Um, I decided I'm sending this one um, to Owen Benjamin. He got me all pumped up the other day to paint and, you know, uh, you know, praise the Lord and, you know, make something beautiful. So um, I'm going to send this to him. You follow Owen? Owen Benjamin? He's crazy, but he's fun. You know, and a lot of what he says is right on the money sometimes.
non-PC, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Only the red pill will survive. Yes. Well, he's not so polite sometimes, but he's funny, man. It's it's he's very very funny guy. Um, you know, he was a comedian. Um, you know, he had the chance to sell his soul, and uh, you know, for a Hollywood career, and uh, he chose not to. He basically said no. Bought a house in Washington, and now he farms goats. Does his stream. They're doing a lot of stuff though. Him and Vox, unauthorized.tv. It's great. The saviors of Western civilization, right there. Now they're bringing back the. They're bringing back the. Uh, they're bringing back. God. To the Western world. Because, we have fallen so far. It's ridiculous how far we've fallen where the bad is good and the good is bad it's absolutely um, ins it's insanity it really is insanity degenerates are celebrated mentally ill are, are, are given a platform and make the rules it's just fucking crazy it's absolutely insane what's going on right now you know Yeah, you know, I mean, look, here's a little dose of red pill for everybody, whoever's out there. I don't even know. I can't even tell how many people are watching. Western civilization is Christianity. Christianity is Western civilization. Without Western civilization and without Christianity, you don't have your iPhone, you don't have your internet, you don't have anything that you take for granted, okay? That was built on the shoulders of giants. Science as well, which was mostly funded by the church, okay? It wasn't until the um, enlightenment with the moral relativity and the rise of communism and the cult of Satan, okay, when this shit, ha when this shit all started to go sour. It begins there with moral relativism. There is no moral relativism. It is right or it is wrong. Okay, there's no other way to go about it. Okay, it's right or wrong. We are all fallen. None of us is immune from being a sinner. We all are. We all sin. We are all have all done it and spit in the face of God. Okay, we've all done it. Okay, but we should be repenting for that. And the lack of repenting, which I am every day trying to do, okay, and everybody should in my opinion, okay, is what is the problem. When sin is celebrated, that's a problem. And uh, it really is getting disgraceful.
Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's he's like uh, he's six eight. <laughs> cool. You should call his brother. Tell him I said hello. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, I you know a lot of bad things in Seattle. You know, people think they're doing they're doing the homeless a favor by letting them sit on the street, talking to themselves and screaming at their their hallucinations. Okay, when they're really not helping anybody with that by doing that. You know, they're not help. They're certainly not helping the people who live there. They're not helping the homeless. You know. Yeah, I'm sure. But how cool is that, that he could have been like a famous comedian or whatever, you know, an actor, and, and, and gave up the fame because he saw that it's, it's basically signing your soul away. He's got balls, and he's right. And not for nothing, he really, they, they, between him and Vox, they really showed me a lot. I mean, and yes, you're right about Vox. He's, done, he's very smart, but he doesn't have the communication skills that Owen or Trump have, you know, which is fine. His books are amazing. You know, the rational atheist is like prison rape of the atheist argument, that's for sure. You know? Yes, I agree with you. Yes, but we also need thinkers too, you know. And in Vox's case, it's a, uh, he's a, uh, he's much better verbally, I mean, uh, in the with the written word, you know, if you read his blog and stuff, than he is with, with uh, you know, Yes, and I understand that. That was me, man. That was me for 
a very long time, or not even. I wasn't even that. Like I, I questioned everything, um, and that's fine, man. You know, everybody's got to come to their own. You know, my thing is that I've seen enough proof to convince me. You know, I used to say I was an agnostic type. You know, I don't know and. Uh, Therefore, I won't rule it out. But I grew up Catholic, you know. But now, I don't even consider myself a Catholic, that's for sure. You know, not with the way the church is right now. I'll go back to the Catholic Church when they hang up, when they basically take all the, all the uh, people who are um, pedophiles and rapists, and they hang them in public. Then I'll go back to it. This Pope is a deceiver. So, I'm a man without a church, but I don't need one. I just need belief. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you, brother. We all have our gifts, you know. I would say that they need to be um, regressed back to the way they used to be. Okay, forget reform. They need to go back to when the church was first established, before the first council of Nicaea. Who's here? Oh, hey, what's up? Got join? Oh, shit. <laughs> How you doing, brother? On, uh, I got. I'm up on YouTube now. I'm up on uh, this other one. That's a painting thing. You should check it out. I'll get you the name for it. Um, Yes, I will. I'm using Restream. Yeah, AJ, uh, AJ Rhino. AJ Rhino on YouTube. Um, the other one, I forget what it's called. Let me see if I could get it here. No. Picarto. P-I-C-A-R-T-O. I don't know if anybody's watching there, but I'm, I'm streaming there too. It's no good. Yeah, I don't know. I just started it today.
Yeah, you know, what do you got to lose? You never know. That's why I did it. All right, now we're talking. Okay, now we can put some red in this, and we will be good to go. Look at the sky. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm actually, you know, they don't do live streaming, and I'm just now learning how to, uh, I'm just now learning how to, um, how to, like, edit stuff, you know? So that's the plan, is to get it up on BitChute. Because I know no one's really doing this on there. Especially since I plan on doing very non-PC paintings coming very soon. <laughs> like shit that's gonna piss people off, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty. You're gonna write on YouTube or write off YouTube? Oh, you're gonna type on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be fun. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> they're going to be loved by some and hated by others. But hopefully they'll wake a few people up. I think that looks okay. What do you think? The one problem is these things look too much alike. I'm going to have to do something about that. I'll come back to that though, I think. I'm going to do... Oh, I know you're the big F you, and I've seen some of your work. I do not. It was very brief, and you didn't give me a chance to really look at it and study it. But I know it's about aggravating people. <laughs> the, the Yeah, you know, well, some people deserve to be aggravated. There's a lot of really evil people out there that need to, that are swaying the masses in a certain way and winning. And because most of us have been asleep for such a long time, 
there's been no alternate voice to wake these people up. And that's what I'm hoping to be. Know what I mean, bro? Yeah, well, I'm not talking about nudes. I'm talking about offensive <laughs> to some. Evil people are not going to like my work. Even though I do want to do, I'm learning, you know, how to do the figure and everything else. And it really is not easy. And I have a tremendous amount of respect for people who are doing it who could do it good. You know, I've done a few, like, you know, um, f like figure, fi figure, three minute, five minute, or two minute, one minute, 30 second figures and stuff. And uh, I'm not good at it yet. But, you know, you never know. So that that's something I'm working on as well. But as far as painting goes, this is what I'm working on. The, I'm working on the landscapes first learning the colors and hot and warm and you know distance and I'm fa I'm basically studying beer stop well, all the paintings I've been doing lately are beer stop America is under attack by the globalist FU they want America to be the global marketplace which requires open borders it's all about the open borders America the country is under great threat yes and Vox made a great video about this um, it's on Vox Aversity called Immigration and War. There is no difference. If we lost a war, we'd be dealing with the same problem. Actually, probably not even as bad. We are inviting in the demise of this country, okay, um, because they're coming too fast, too fast to assimilate. When my grandparents came here, they were Italians, okay? The Italians and the Irish fucking hated each other. They used to fight like maniacs. Right? They, it, 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 but this was, yes, it's, it, the clash of cultures occurred with two European cultures. Okay? Two European cultures were clashing. Right? Now, they, they, and they, they basically shut off immigration for 40 years, from 1925 to 1965 or whatever. That allowed the people that were here to basically get along, get to know each other, and start to like each other. But since 65, we've brought in every single culture from every freaking place on the planet. And it's insanity. Because none of these cultures get along or talk or are, are in, you know, when you look at a voting thing in, 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 in the voting booth in New York, it's got 42 fucking languages on it. That's fucking wrong. It should be English only. Period. If you can't fucking read English, you don't fucking vote. Jesus. I, I mean, it, it's just... It's so simple, and you could see that the evil people, with their talk of racism and everything else, which is a fucking made-up word anyway. Yes, I agree. Shut the whole fucking border down, bro. Don't take anybody. You kidding? What's up, Buckshot? How we doing?
That is correct. That is correct. And you know what? We are not the strongest country out there anymore. We, we are very weak. Financially, forget about it. The debt is going to cause a disaster. There's no, the, all, the, all they did with TARP and all that bullshit was delay it. They delayed the inevitable. I had to figure out how not to have two lines like that in the center. But we'll see. I'm going to move on from the sky for now. What do you guys think? It look okay? I think it looks all right. That is correct. Yeah, and the world is doing the same thing to Europe, dude. You know, but Europe is fighting back a lot harder than the Americans are, that's for sure. You got Italy, you got the, the, the nationalist populist right rising all over um, in, in the European elections, which is great which is absolutely great. We need more populists and nationalists. Yeah, you know what it is though, Join. Here's the thing. Okay, people are going to always feel more comfortable and want to be with their own people. It's natural. It's, it, it's, it, you could ask anybody. They're going to answer the same way. If the shit hits the fan, you're going to go to the people that you feel most comfortable with, that you share the same culture with, that you share the same opinions with. This is why prisons are the most segregated places on the planet because they're under extreme stress and that's why they do that okay i'm not saying we segregate the country i'm saying that by saying that it's okay to basically feel comfortable and want to be with your own people whether it be italians or or, or um, you know irish or whatever that's not evil that's not racism that's fucking normal Well, yeah, you know what? You guys have a different, like, type of nationalist over there. But I will say that Salvini, oh, I love that man. You know? Who else do I like? I like the guy from uh, Poland, and I like the guy from uh, the Netherlands. Those guys are great because they're not stupid. They're not bringing in millions of people from all over, from cultures that hate them. It's just retarded. Why would you do that? What purpose does that make? Let's bring in all these people who hate us and want to change us and, not, you know, change everything about our country. That's correct. That's exactly correct. Big boy. I live in New York. I'm in the I grew up in the most diverse place on the planet. And I can tell you unequivocally, they like living with their own. Whatever they are, the Asians, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, the, the Colombians, they stay in their own hoods as soon as they get rid of all the white people. That's how it works. You know?
People are tribal. That is correct. 100% correct. It's natural. Uh, I think I'm done messing with this guy for right now. I got some light going over that. That's good. All right. I, I kind of want to play around with these trees a little bit. That's correct, Junior. I mean, it's just normal, dude. It's just normal. And it's not hatred. It doesn't come from hatred. There's nothing hateful about it. It's just fucking normal. I know they try to turn the word normal upside down by saying it's fucking normal to be gay. No, it isn't. It isn't normal. It's abnormal it's mental problems okay and it's okay we're all sinners but it's still an issue you know or giving freaking 11 year old kids fucking puberty blockers and hormones what are we doing are we insane I guess so I can't think of anything more evil than that that's, I mean, all I can think of a lot of things more evil than that, but that's fucking up there. You know, hopefully all these rapists go to prison and get hung. But Yeah, well, you know what, dude? European colonization in Africa brought medicine, infrastructure, uh, I mean, a ton of shit to Africa, okay? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, colonizers do that. You know, and as far as it coming back to bite you, I don't think so. I think that they should have went for the full colonization. The world would be a better place. Christianity across the world, dominating the whole entire fucking, uh, the whole world, would, there'd, be a, there'd be a lot less war. You know, the Crusades were, 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 were good, but they weren't handled properly. They should have focused on what they were supposed to focus on. Believe me, I, you're, uh, listen, Europe and Western civilization is the shining light on this planet, which is run by a fucking demon, okay? Christianity is what built this world, and to, to spread that is good. That's correct. I agree with you. I agree with you. Armed interventions after World War II, fuck them. They could all, you know, once we, once it happened, we should have just left them all alone. But you got globalists, and globalists need war. They need war to fund their fucking pedophile rings. They need war to, to keep the Fed going. The Fed is evil. The Fed, the way our money system is evil. The whole situation is a disgrace. Usury is fucking evil. I Islam's got that one right, let me tell you. You know? Yo, not for nothing, dude. We can't. We don't even have the power to do it anymore, bro. Our fucking economy, our dollar, the Fed is so weak. And we're in so much debt that uh, that future generations have been sold down the river and basically uh, condemned to slavery by the baby boomers, which are my parents. Yeah, well, Rhodesia was amazing. Was a, they, they had a, one of the best ex, uh, school systems. 
They had they were building great infrastructure. It was great. The communists fucking wrecked that. Same thing's happening in South Africa. You know? It's only a matter of time before South Africa is the next Rhodesia. <clears throat> I'm looking at this, just trying to see. What do you guys think? Opinions. One for good, two for bad. Thank you. I know. Thank you, Yuna. Isn't that crazy? Those evil bastards. She fucking did that. She's fucking Satan. I hope she gets fucking busted before she goes. Because she's showing freaking signs of this disease that looks like she ate fucking human brains for fucking ten years. Forget what it's called. Guru, Kuru, something like that. Where you get the shakes from eating too many humans. That evil bitch... She's fucking disgusting. They loved, they, they basically took out a guy who was keeping people sane there because he wanted to fucking go onto the gold standard. And they signed with the Muslim Brotherhood, which is hell bent on global domination. So, how do you deal with people who are bent on global domination? Invite them into your country, of course, so they can corrupt the masses and your prisons and everything else. Smart. What could possibly go wrong? But I'm not a despair merchant. I have hope. I see it. I don't want to sound fucking despair -y. I feel bad. I'm going to manifest shit like Owen says. The whole idea is that find God, open your eyes, see it coming, live your life, fight the good fight, and win. Because the good guys win in the end on this one. The good guys win. That I know for sure. All right, I'm going to move on to something else here. Let's see. Ah, let me see if I can play around with those trees a little bit. I don't know how he did these trees, man. I'm just getting paint. Relax. I'll be right there.
Why is it a wood is working? Where I'm going? Come on, I want this music. It's going to be, uh, Italy's going to be next. Yeah, they know it too. Wait, did you, did you guys look up Nexium and see what's going on with that? With Seagrams and Bromfit and Bromfman and the Rothschild, they're going fucking, they are all part of this fucking pedal ring.
I don't hate anybody. I don't hate the poor immigrant who was told the story that they get, they basically get, um, you know, that they should they should leave where they are because they get all sorts of free shit in Europe. Okay, I I feel for those people. They were lied to by evil globalist people with an agenda. Okay, but th there's 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 no hate on them in that regard. You you know it's it's the it's the fact that they are being used as a weapon by globalist elites who want to bring down the West because they hate Christianity. And the West is Christianity. It's that simple. There, I mean, there's really not much to it. It's that simple. Once you come to grips with the fact that people that are supposed to love you and care for you are evil, okay, it's very easy to understand. Too, especially the veterans. There's also hordes of NGOs that are acting as charities that are dropping people off on the borders. How did 35,000 Congolese people get to Panama? Explain that one. 35,000 people with no money. How did they get from Africa to Panama? There's big money behind this. And the Arabs are pawns. They are being used as a weapon. That's correct. The homeless are everywhere in Seattle. I watched that movie. You got to get out of there, Junior. Come meet me. We're going south, baby.
I'm not doubting that there are good NGOs, but Doctors Without Borders, evil. Start there. Shut them down. Take away their charitable status. They are responsible for a lot of this. Yes, they are very subtract. Yes, the UN is evil. And yes, the Middle East is a self-created problem, but it's not just America. It's the globalists that want it, that push for it, and either coerce or dupe politicians and media to vote for it. You know, what happened? I'll be right back, guys. I'm getting an update. Hello?
Now I hear you. All right, I'll, let me let me go. I will. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm in the office. Yeah. No. No. What? He's with Kayla. They're hanging out. I'm gonna take him out later. Yeah. No, that's the game plan. I'm not saying I'm gonna pick up Nina from here, and we're, we're gonna go do something. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking it's Sunday. Um, no, what time is it anyway? Yeah, no, I'll be leaving here like an hour. Yeah. All right? All right. I'll, I love you. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Back. Still going, huh? No, oh, stop being mean, Junior. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bond with our European brothers and sisters. That's correct, Roy. Yes, and here's the deal. We have to keep those bonds together. The world is trying to destroy that bond, you know. That's also correct, bro. Do not shut down the conversation, especially when we disagree.
Yeah, Tommy, that boy's, we gotta pray for him. Oh, someone gave me some bits in D-Live, thank you. I can't see it yet, but I will check it out later, thank you. Or follow, I don't know what happened. Um, I will say this though, okay? Tommy Robinson should be released. We should have given him asylum. No paint, be right back. He got convicted for doing nothing but being a journalist. got convicted for a contempt of sport. Stop it, Junior. Be nice. He got convicted for being a journalist, basically, for reporting on the, uh, on the trial of the Islamic grooming gangs 
that rape, you know, was part of the rape of 1,400 um, English girls. And the, the government said there was a reporting ban on it, that no reporters were allowed to report on this. And he was like, well, fuck that. We're not going to accept your narrative. I'm going to go there and I'm going to report on it. Which he did. And they arrested him. And uh, now he's do in prison. And they put him into an Islamic a prison where there's lots of Islamic people. Um, yeah, that's what you call fucking tyranny. And, you know, while Junior's not so nice, we do have to stand up against tyranny like that. And that is tyranny. So whatever the left says is bullshit on that. That's the fucking story. disagree but dude there's nothing right about killing a fucking human life an innocent one at that you know it's evil and the women who do it need to repent because they are they are basically doing a very evil deed murdering their own child how do you murder your child It's definitely murder. You are taking a new genetic being, a human being, with its own genes, with its own DNA structure, with it, with which is completely separate from the two parents, and you are killing it out of convenience because you couldn't keep your legs closed okay for convenient reasons okay because it came at a bad time um, because you know you don't like the guy who's the father for whatever reason it doesn't it's it comes down to convenience and you are ending a human life. There's no question about that. It's truth. Okay, call it a fetus, call it whatever you want to call it. Okay? It's a separate human life. And killing that is murder. And the fact that it's so accepted and so defended and so encouraged by so many is proof of how far we have fallen as a civilization in the West. Okay? Agree, disagree, that's fine. I'm not, I, I don't get mad at people who disagree with me. 
But there is no doubt that it's a human life and you're ending it. Okay? So however people want to go ahead and justify that ending a human life is okay because a woman sweated out and had sex and doesn't want the kid anymore? Um, no. I don't see any defense for that, you know, at all. Not even close. Not even a little bit. It's murder. And murder of anybody is wrong, but the murder of the most innocent life that didn't even have a chance to sin yet is beyond wrong. It's evil. However, don't stop believing, baby. Don't stop believing. One day abortion will be gone and made illegal. Just like the other thing that was legal and terrible, which was slavery. That was legal too. But it was still evil.
All right, I'm doing this last tree on the right, and then I'm calling it quits. I'm doing this tree on the right, and then I'm calling it quits. I think I'm on there. I think I mean I've seen that. You gotta check out Red Ice TV, Owen Benjamin. Vox Diversity, dude, the, ga the Gamma thing is great. figure out a schedule but dude i'll email you bro just shoot me your email you know Send, it, send an email to uh, rhinomaxtv at gmail, and uh, or or uh, leave a comment on the on the YouTube channel, and I'll uh, and I'll I'll, I'll I'll email you, you know. my first live stream. <laughs> well, 
Alright, I'll fi- I'll- I'll- Hold on, I'll figure- I'll, I'll figure it out as soon as I stop. Don't go nowhere, cause I'm almost done here. It's a man house. Man house. I'm insane. walls around me Okay, I gotcha. I'll fix that. I don't know why. I would never disable comments. See how this bad boy looks. Okay, cool. Yeah, probably. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> Just not in New York. <laughs> but when I move, you could definitely come because I'm going to be close to a gun range. Or I'm hopefully going to have a bunch of land. We could just shoot right on my land.
come shoot some guns. Just not New York. Oh, good. Okay. I don't think that's going to last very long, Junior. <laughs> How long do you think YouTube's going to like me? <laughs> yeah, well, in some places in America, you could buy a tank, and I think that that's a good thing. I'd like to get a tank or a big fucking cannon. Yes, correct. Keep your family safe. I wouldn't call them toys, but they are necessary for a free society. Because eventually, tyrants take control. No matter what, it always happens. In every bit of history, tyrants take power. Somehow, some way. And the only way to keep them in check is with an armed populace. Oh, daddy. A gun is a life saving device. That is correct. For every, there are over three, or I think it was 300,000 people or, or incidents where, where people were saved because they had guns on them in this country. And that was like last year, it wasn't 500, it's crazy, it's a crazy number. How we looking, boys? What do you guys think? Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes they're not available. You know, they're not available. Think about all the rapes in Sweden. Those women and the guys that, that were, were uh, what's it called? The reporters who were, had shit thrown at them. Look at Tim Pool's videos uh, of his, when he was there. Threats and violence. I don't trust the cops to, to be there for me, even though I don't have a choice now in New York. But if I lived in a really nasty neighborhood, I would have a fucking illegal gun. 100%. Yeah, you, know, you gotta protect yourself. I know. I don't care what other people like, it's what I like. I like Tim.
I liked him because he's at least got a halfway open mind, you know? You know, it's, it's not that, you know. Yeah, no, I know you're not in Sweden. Aren't you in Norway? Romania? Oh shit, I didn't know that. I love Romania. Nadia Comaneci. Hanging out the promises of the songs of yesterday. I made up my mind. All right, boys. What do you think? How are we looking here? You do. Yes, you do. But you have to fight the right fight, brother. You can't let them get even an inch. I'll be like, yo, man, that's awesome. I did not see that yet, but it's on my list. It's in my watch. I've got so many videos in my watch list. Amazing! Jesse Lee is freaking amazing. That guy, let me tell you something. When I called him yesterday, the first thing he does, we got Anthony from New York. He goes, Happy Wednesday, Monday. I was like, 
That is one wise man, let me tell you. You should go listen to what I, 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 I was on yesterday. I think it's hour two, like around 2.30. Reflections going on here, boys. Yeah, you think? <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. Intensity would be a good word. I am intense. I am strong in my beliefs. I may be wrong, but I ain't lying. That is the greatest thing that I have ever heard. But when Owen said that, I was like, wow. I really could, could see that that's good. He's 70? Oh man, I hope he lives to be 200. That guy is great. I freaking love him, man. He is so good, and he is really, really, really doing a lot of good, bro. He is helping so many people. The whole idea of re uh, rebuilding the man and making men be men again, it it's just, it's so important. I love when he goes, you're either a slut or you're a slut maker. And that's the truth, bro. It's not just women's fault. I mean, granted, feminism is fucking pure cancer. Don't get me wrong. But, first off, men allow it to happen. Okay? Secondly, um, men act like fucking dicks and sluts. They're not fucking all focused on the family. This is the boomer mentality. Get yourself straight for blah, blah, blah. No, have your fucking kids. Hurry up. Get out there. Get a girl. Marry her, have kids, raise them right, homeschooling. These are all mistakes I made. You know, I, I never did that. I wish I did. And I'm hoping I could get my kids to, to do it, but I don't know. You know, it's not easy. The infection is deep. But hopefully we get a couple of real good spiritual victories with, uh, with Trump and Q and we see a bunch of these criminal fucking globalists go down and get hung and shot because that's what they deserve. These pedophilia rings, they need to go. They gotta go. Take the victory. We got one. Wait, there's gonna be more. And literally, the only response, the only acceptable treatment of any of these fuckers is a bullet in the fucking head. Pedophiles do not deserve to live. They deserve a bullet. And the father of the girl who got fucking raped by these cocksuckers is the one who should get to pull the trigger. Yeah, Jesse is a voice of truth. I told them what, on the on the on the, what I called it. I'm like Jesse. The only reason I would ever step foot in California again 
is to come to your church. I believe I would love to meet him. He's a great wise man. to say goodbye. I am, uh, I gotta get home, go hang out with the kids, maybe go for a walk, get some dinner, um, but there's a chance I'll be around tomorrow night, um, but, uh, I definitely will be streaming at least, I'm gonna try actually to do a, uh, like a five o'clock or six o'clock stream once or twice a week. So, we'll see. I gotta just look at the schedule. But dudes, thank you all for hanging out. Drawing, fucking Junior, I love you guys. Um, come say hi again. And, uh, oh wow, it looks cool from, from your view. Nice, okay, cool. Still needs a lot of work, but we're getting there. Stay positive, baby. We do not pedal. We do not pedal despair. There is nothing to despair over. We are winning. This is a victory. God is good and he's on our side. All right? I love you guys, baby. Be good.